Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to be attempting to install this um, extended clasp on my Zelos Swordfish uh, version 2. This has the full loom dial. So I purchased this watch used uh, maybe a month ago, and uh, when I sized this bracelet for my wrist, it was very difficult to get this on wrist. And actually, I will demonstrate that here uh, today. Wearing my G-Shock Solar, Solar just picked this up from a fellow member of Random Rob Patreon group. So thank you, Hector, for selling this to me. Um, so let's, let's get this on wrist here. So uh, I have six and a half inch wrist. Let me zoom out. You'll see a bunch of clutter on my desk here. Sorry about that. So got this tight uh, adjusted to my wrist size. And it's just too tight of a fit. So anyway, I emailed the owner, um, Elshon, and he replied to me the next day and, and no questions asked. said, yeah, sure, I'll send you out a new clasp. And um, it just arrived the other couple days ago. I think with the COVID situation, obviously the shipping is quite delayed. But anyway, I have it and I'll try it on, try to put it on. So I did an initial impressions video of this and I didn't really get a chance to wear it for a week. I guess I could have put the, the watch on with this tight clasp, but uh, work on a computer and throughout the day I like to take the watch on and off and it just would have been a bit of a hassle to do that. So I will try to do this on video here. Uh, it came with these spring bars. Came with two new spring bars, obviously the clasp, and came with this little spring bar tool. But uh, I have some other ones here. They're just cheapies, but one day I'll probably upgrade to the Vergeon or something nicer. So let's uh, try and get this on here. Hopefully I don't lose any spring bars. Maybe that's why you sent extras. So let's use this one here. I'm gonna take this one out here. Sorry. So, hopefully this doesn't go too bad. Just to give you an idea of the difference here, that's quite the difference actually. Maybe I'll measure this quick here with the calipers. So that's about uh, 45 millimeter. Versus 33 millimeter. I'll try and measure it all the way open to you. Or fully extended. 57.2. Versus... 82. Sorry, let's see here. 80 millimeter, so quite a bit different. Um, let's see if I can put this back on the right way. Let's go on this way. Oop. Guess I should have paid more attention to that. This one goes over here. So 
There we go. I gotta find the other spring bar. That's over here. All right, let's put this one in first. If I put it on the right way, it wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, that's really easy now. Watch might be a little bit tight. Maybe just right. That's a lot easier to get on and off now. That made a big difference. Almost seems like it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's say it might be a little bit too big, but see, it's about right compared to my SKX here. Yeah, it looks to be about the same uh, span there to open and close that. So that was not too bad. So thanks for watching. If you could do all the fun YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Oh, uh, ring the bell. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.